with about 3,000 developers and software projects that impact about 25% of its revenue, ABB has spent the past decades quietly becoming a software company. In the Raleigh-based Corporate Research Center, the Software Tools team is charged with performing research that is measured by its impact on both ABB developers and the state of the art. In the following three minutes, I'll show you what a typical project looks like. The project I'll introduce today is called Creating Model-like Representations of Code. This project is focused on two things. First, we aim to produce representations of source code that allow developers to quickly perform common tasks. Second, we had to design very fast program analysis techniques to support the on-demand creation of these models. To give you an example of the type of models we created, let's take a look first at Comagen. Comagen searches the open project and visualizes groups of relevant methods as sequence diagrams, effectively creating lightweight models of relevant features on demand. In this example, you can see the user searches for do print, and a sequence diagram summarizing the implementation is presented. The developer can use this model to quickly understand how the feature is implemented and then begin his or her maintenance tasks. Now, having shown you one of the model generating tools, let's briefly discuss some of the enabling program analyses that drives Comagen. In order to perform software search, Comagen first must build the AST for each file, break it into program elements, and then index each program element. To illustrate this process, you're watching a developer use Sando which serves as Comagen's search engine. Sando can quickly create ASTs, indexing even large projects within seconds. As you can see, once indexing finishes, Sando can retrieve program elements such as methods, comments, and classes almost instantly. While AST construction is a relatively simple program analysis, both Comagen and our third prototype, the data flow visualization, go much further. The program slicing that drives this visualization executed in about three minutes, as opposed to hours for competing approaches, allowing this developer to quickly review the class level, method level, and even code level impact. He follows the data flow of loading a buffer from the method load buffer into view to set buffer, and even further to buffer updated, ensuring that he understands the ramifications of his changes. This project exemplifies the balance between innovation and impact that our projects strive for. It explored how to create on-demand models from search results, yet it also delivered a high-quality search engine for source code. It explored how data flow can be visualized, at the same time delivering new algorithms to enable on-demand slicing. Most importantly, this project has opened up our eyes to the possibilities that fast, good-enough program analysis offers and we look forward to fully exploring this space.